To start the timing procedure, we're going to use the marks on the balancer. It's labeled A, B, and C. You want to go ahead and get a paint marker and highlight them so they're easier to see. This here is the chart we're going to be using. So you can say we start at A and then you can do set cylinder on valve on one. And these are the feeler gauges we're going to be using. You're going to need a 14 and a 27 thou feeler gauge. An inch pounds torque wrench dial gauge like this is preferred. Preferred it needs to go to 71 inch pounds. So start by rolling the engine over to position A. And then you want to check to make sure your valves are loose on one. If they're not, roll it over to the next A or I'll start on six on the chart. We'll start by checking where the valve lash is at. I'm going to guess it's going to be tight if it hasn't been done in a while. You're going to want to stick the feeler gauge between the valve bridge and the rocker. And if it's a little bit tight and you can't get the feeler gauge in there, just crack the jam nuts loose and back the adjusters out just a little bit until you can get your feeler gauge in there. 27 thou is for the exhaust rocker, which is the shorter rockers on the Cummins ISX. And the 14 thou is for the intake rocker, which is the longer rocker on the Cummins ISX. So you'll stick your feeler gauge in there. And then you're going to use your Allen to kind of tighten it up just so you have a little bit of drag on the feeler gauge and then tighten it up with your wrench. You can do the same thing with the exhaust. And once you have them both set, then we'll move on to doing the injector. To do the injector, it's as simple as taking the inch pounds torque wrench and tightening it to 71 inch pounds. Make sure you back off the jam nut first. I like to go ahead and just give it a little half a turn loose and then very slowly pull it until you see that 71 inch pounds on the gauge. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and tighten the jam nut and that's gonna take care of it for cylinder number one. We'll move on to the next position. Go ahead and roll the motor over to position B. Get it lined up there to the mark on the front cover. We'll take a look at our chart. The next one is B is five. So we'll go ahead and go to cylinder number five. Make sure you check, make sure both rockers are loose. Then you're gonna do the same thing as we did to cylinder one. Maybe go ahead and back off your two jam nuts, loosen off the rocker adjusters a little bit. 14 thousandths for the longer intake rocker and 27 thousandths for the shorter exhaust rocker. Now again, slight drag on the feeler gauge. Then you can go ahead and tighten the jam nut. Do that for both exhaust and intake. And then you can grab the inch pounds torque wrench, back off the jam nut on the injector adjuster, tighten it to 71 inch pounds, and then tighten the jam nut up, and we'll move on to the next one. So that's now position C. So we'll go back to our chart. Position C, next one is three. So again, go to cylinder three. Always check to make sure your valves are loose. I mean, they pretty much have to be, but if they aren't, you might find a problem. It's always good to check to make sure they're loose. Make sure you're at top dead center on the cylinder you're adjusting on. Heck, if you're tired, you might go to the wrong cylinder. Who knows? So just make, make sure you check and make sure that both rockers are loose and you can wiggle them a little. Then, same as the last two cylinders we did, back off your jam nuts, get your feeler gauges in there, get everything set up, do the injector, tighten everything up. I should also mention right now that I usually just snug everything up or tighten everything up by hand. After you do a bunch of them, you get a good feel for it. But the torque spec for the jam nuts is 33 foot pounds. So if you got a torque wrench handy and you want to go ahead and torque them for peace of mind, go right ahead. And with that all wrapped up, we can get back to the front of the motor. We'll roll it back over to A again and take a look at our chart. We're on cylinder number six now. Everything is just repetitive at this point, so I think I'll just go ahead and start speeding the video up here and just giving a light voiceover on it. So just go ahead and set six, just like you did the rest of them. Make sure they're loose, feeler gauges, light drag, and the inch pounds torque wrench on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this video until we get to the next cylinder. And then, again, we're back over to B, get it lined up nice there. B, cylinder number two, comes after six. And repeat the same procedure. And then you can move on to position C and on to the last cylinder and wrap things up. And finally, the last position C. Take a look at our chart one more time. It's going to put us on cylinder number four. 
So, just like you've done five times already, you should be getting pretty good at it. Check if your valves are loose, get your feeler gauges in there, set your injector. Also good practice to go over, I guess, and check and make sure everything's tight. Make sure you haven't forgot to tighten any of the jam nuts. Just go each over, go over each and every one of them with your wrench. Make sure they're all snug, or your torque wrench if you're using a torque wrench. And then it wouldn't hurt actually to roll over back to position A and check number one again. Make sure your valve lesh is correct. And if you wanted to, you could roll through all the rest of the cylinders and check the individual valve lash on each of them. Make sure you didn't accidentally set the exhaust to one of the intakes or one of the intakes to one of the exhausts. You know, uh, it's not much time now. It saves some headache in the future. But once you get that all wrapped up and you've done your double checks and your triple checks, you can go ahead and put the valve cover back on. Torque spec on the valve cover is 28 foot pounds. All right, that's going to wrap it up for the procedure and wrap it up for this video. So hopefully this helps some of you guys out with getting your valve set and your injector set. If it did, please leave a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Yeah, thanks for watching, and if there's anything I missed or anything you have questions about, please leave them in the comments, and I'll answer them if I can.